Hey, it looks like there's going to be robots in the stands for the Summer Olympics. Seriously. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Not going to be people, so there might as well be yeah. some robots, I guess. But no, spectators aren't allowed, so I'm kind of wondering, what's the need for the robots, really? Somebody's got to cheer. I guess so. Robots got to cheer. They're also going to use some robots for serving the Olympians as well. So right. it's really incredible on how they're trying to practice COVID and then go, oh, well, let's just use this robot stuff that we have. And it's all driven through Toyota. That was a pun. I didn't even, I didn't <laughs> even realize I did that. <laughs> but Toyota's driving this whole, here I again. go again. <laughs> they're doing this whole thing. Well, they, you know that uh, the Olympics this year have two mascots who are robots, which is weird. Now, they have names that I can't possibly pronounce. It's like Miratawa and so matey or something. But Nailed it. No, I didn't. But anyway, one is blue, one is pink. And uh, so they already had, they were kind of, I guess, um, uh, getting us into the whole robot thing little by little with, because they're the cutest little mascots. But these other robots are kind of weird. Kind of odd. Okay. Well, yeah. And they're going to be some fans. So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah. And the robots. I mean, they're little cart things that are going to bring around drinks mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So they can have, you know, the refreshments. Kind of like all a Roomba. Stuff. Like a, a robot vacuum or something. Yeah, they can do that, too. They can vacuum. Because <laughs> well, they do that. get messy. <laughs> well, somebody's got to clean it up, right? You know, right? Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Time to get out this summer, right? It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Hey, it's so good to hear from you, especially if you want to win those Dollywood tickets because we have them all summer long, so you have the opportunity to win those along with a backyard movie kit. Yeah, and, you know, as you go into stores, you're starting to see some of the back-to-school items popping up, so that means... Pumpkin spice. Right? Uh, that is Pumpkin spice cookies are in stores now. Like It's mid-July. Right? Give us a minute. But Come on, let's... Let's celebrate the summer, not the fall yet. Right, but it tells Keep you... Keep your pumpkin spice to yourself! <laughs> Please, because I don't like ah. it anyway. But it tells you that it won't be long and the kids will be back in school. So you got to make those sim summer memories 2021 now, and we can help you do that with those Dollywood tickets. All you have to do to get in on this, we're giving away these tickets all summer long, text the word outside to 800-447-7234. She said she didn't like pumpkin spice. Did you catch that? That was a subtle thing that she tried to slip in there, Ugh. but Ugh. she doesn't like pumpkin spice. Ugh. Look at that. Ugh. See? No wonder why she doesn't want to see it on the shelves in <laughs> mid-July. At all. Get out this summer. You can also go to hisradio.com and tap on the My His Radio app. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. How much would you pay for a French fry at an expensive, you know, fine dining five-star restaurant? It's Rob and Liz. His morning crew on His Radio. Two ninety five, two dollars and ninety five cents. But in New York, at Serendipity, they have some French fries that are two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for an order of fries. Now it is a plate for the table, so it's bigger. But it's it's a plate for the table. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a whole lot of French fries for two hundred bucks. I know. So Serendipity, I know Serendipity from their hot chocolate. They evidently make like this incredible hot chocolate, but they ventured out to do um, French fries, and they're called Creme de la Creme Palm Frites. Who would pay for that? Oh, people are paying it. So why? Okay. What you have is a certain type of potato. It's a chipper beck. I have no idea what that is. Um, Cage-free goose fat, and they use truffle Ooh. salt. Ooh. Okay? Then they also use... Who would eat this? Oh, lots of people. It sounds disgusting now. It doesn't I sound just, like a French fry. I just paid $200 for these fries. I can see it. Um, and then they have black truffle butter, gear truffle, Swiss cheese of some sort. From where? It's like Greer? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. what? You know what? That <laughs> Greer truffle will get you every time. Oh, yeah. And then they serve what? it on Baccarat crystal. Mm -hmm. So you don't get to take the crystal home. It's just served to you on it. Um, and then it's sprinkled with 23 karat edible gold dust. Why? I have used gold dust in some of the baking that I do, but it's not, I mean, it's like $11 for a bottle. And you just well, need that, a little well, that's tiny. that's an upcharge that they do. Right? But it's all bucks. the other stuff. I mean, now the the truffles, if you've ever ordered like truffle oil no. or a truffle, no, which never. is an underground mushroom, basically. It's really? fungus. They, they sell <laughs> mushrooms underground? 
No, you don't have to go underground There's a racket to get for this? them. No. <laughs> what the, is? The pigs get the truffles, and then the chef gets them to your plate, I guess. Pigs so. get truffles? Yeah, pigs. What? A lot of times they'll have pigs that um That eat search. truffle? No, they search for the truffle. They might eat them on them. What? Know. Yeah. This is weird. Yeah, so there's black truffles and white truffles. Black, I think, is the stronger of the truffles. This is all in a French fry? This is the weirdest this is French fry ever. This is all on the French fry, and it's not and even like... you 200 bucks. It's not even like grated truffle. Like, it slices what, of the truffle. What, a grade A? I'd give it an F. No, grated. Not oh, grated. Oh, I'm sorry. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Well, thankfully, when it comes to the best places to live in America, they just came out with the list again. But the Carolinas nailed it one more time in second place with Raleigh, Durham. That is very, very cool. Second place, yeah. yeah. Only well, second to Boulder, Colorado. That's what I was going to ask. So uh, why, how did Boulder beat out Raleigh, Durham? Well, it's second year in a row. They know people. <laughs> I think they do. They paint somebody off. I don't know. <laughs> they, they know people. That's that's the way it is. But Raleigh Durham high on the list. A lot of places throughout the South is too. In the top five, actually, is Huntsville, Fayetteville, Arkansas, not Fayetteville, North oh. Carolina, and Austin, Texas. But they look at the job market, affordability, quality of life, that kind of thing. When they take a look at the best places to live in America, I kind of like right here. So this is yeah. really good. And I think the accent has something to do with it too, because everything just sounds better. Even when people say "bless your heart," we know what it means being from this. <laughs> yeah, South, but it just sounds so nice coming out. <laughs> <laughs> to people who don't know what it means. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now we're going to talk like this for the rest of the day. Please don't. Why? I want you to be you. It's sweet. Don't go changing. Okay. To try to please people. I won't. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. You're going to love this flavor of ice cream. Ooh. I think it's it's going to top chocolate. Okay. It's going to top vanilla. Mm. I don't know if you like the Oreo ice cream. Oh, this yeah. is going to be better than Oreo ice cream. Mm. This is going to blow your mind. Okay. The new flavor of ice cream that's coming out. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a, it's a Kraft macaroni and cheese. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why? Because Why? they can, and they will, and they are for a very short time. It's some brand called Van Leeuwen. Le- Van Leeuwen? That's it. I think I can't read it. I don't so know. it's a it's a silly, you know, cursive you can't read. I yeah. can read cursive, just not their their the font of cursive. It's but almost anyway. like a signature, yeah. Yeah, so hmm. mm-hmm. that's an expensive ice cream too. Yeah, and it's you know, it's a Kraft macaroni and cheese flavored ice cream. You'll love it. I don't understand. Like somebody at the Van Lauen Lewin whatever factory is like, we need a new flavor. Hmm. Hmm, what could it be? Something with fruit? Something with nuts? No, mac and cheese. No, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Ice cream. You're going to love it. I mean, who needs chocolate and vanilla? So does it Who have- needs sherbet? <laughs> You don't need sherbet. You need this Kraft macaroni and cheese sherbet. ice cream. It's wonderful. It's a limited edition. It's not going to be around for long. Thank goodness. Do they have chunks of pasta in it or chunks of cheese in it? I Don't wonder. ask me ingredients. I just know that I it exists. I just wonder. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, is it just... Because it sounds disgusting. It sounds... Mm, kind of. But, you know, it's acquired taste. <laughs> yeah. I would like to know anybody that's ever had one of these types of flavors. I put this in the category of liver and onions. Mm, liver and onions. Don't give them any more ideas, Rob. Liver and onions and Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. <laughs> a summer treat. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. You have the money now. You can pay for it later. His morning crew with Rob and Liz, his radio. Well, Apple's working on something like that. Mm-hmm. They're calling it, you probably are familiar with Apple Pay. That's something that they have on the iPhones. Mm-hmm. But now they're working on and toying around with the idea of Apple Pay later. Okay, there's a couple of those types of companies around. Yeah, and their thought is, well, let's help people stay on stay on focus with their finances. And instead of using their credit card, they can use Apple Pay later. And basically, if you qualify, and again, they're talking about this. Mm-hmm. It's not set in stone just okay. yet. But what their thought is, is that they'll give you the opportunity to buy an Apple product mm-hmm. instead of using a credit card and make four installment payments with no interest. Okay, no interest. With no interest, yeah. Sounds like a layaway plan. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Only you get your product now instead of wait to get it. Oh, so you don't, because I remember back in the day, like you'd pay off a layaway and then that's when you would get everything. Then you get it, yeah. Because it was huge around Christmas and that kind of thing. My mom did layaway all the time at a Kmart. Yeah, it's like whose moms didn't do Mm -hmm. it, you know, her parents do it. But I have heard of Afterpay 
and Klarna. Those are different companies that don't serve the technology, but do the same thing. The four installments. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Yeah. Never even heard of it. Yeah, no interest in that kind of thing. So, yeah. Oh. Huh. And I thought this was a thing that Apple was just doing. Well, Apple's doing it for the technology because I don't think the other. Um, I don't know what I don't know what Clara does. Yeah, Klarna does clothing. What is it? Klarna. Klarna. And then there's after. Who's Clara? I, well, you brought her up. I have does, no does she use the the? <laughs> you know, does she, Clara use the Klarney? She probably. <laughs> Klarna. Klarna. Yeah. Okay. Clara with Klarna, um, and yeah. Well, so, who's Klarney? Well, I don't know. He's in your brain. Not mine. Clarney. Clarney? Clarney and Clara. Does he work the Ferris wheel? <laughs> and then something like that. Yeah, at the Ferris wheel at the fairgrounds. So we'll see. It could be a it could be a reality with this uh Apple Pay Later thing. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Toting a gun. <laughs> Somewhere out in the woods, this one bear. He was like, Y'all are not coming after me. I'm taking care <laughs> of myself. I'm protecting me and my family. Um, what actually happened is he stole a guy's backpack. Yeah. The bear did, and it had a handgun in it. But I don't think that's what the bear was looking for. He was actually looking for snacks that were also in the backpack. There's a lot of snacks in the backpack. But <laughs> thankfully, so the guy who the bear took the backpack from, he left it like on his porch or something like that, and then they took right off. Right, yeah. But uh, so they were looking for him for a while. The bear is still on the loose. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I don't think he, he's toting anymore. The gun and the shredded backpack are intact. Yeah. The snacks are gone. <laughs> You think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what was in there. He's like, oh, this is good, but what is this thing? He's like, like <laughs> I don't know what this is. Put it away. Oh, hopefully the safety was on. It was not yeah. loaded. And, and thankfully, they did find it. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody else didn't get a hold of that thing. Oh, exactly. Right? Because if it would have been just out in the woods and then some kids come on it, you'd just never know. Mm -hmm. But uh, thankfully, the bear didn't get hurt and neither did anybody else. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Yeah, I had no idea the dress that Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz as Dorothy, the little blue and white gingham checked um, dress that's over the white shirt, that was missing for decades. So, how, how do you miss that? Like, what? How do you not know? Why is it not in the Smithsonian or some museum or I don't know? But there was an actress named, um, she's still living, Mercedes McCambridge, who was not in the movie. So I don't know even how she got her hands. Maybe she was um, a friend of Liza Minnelli or, you know, or Judy Garland or the family or something. Maybe that's how she got the dress. But she had given um, the Catholic University of America the dress in 1972 to their drama department. I don't know if they were doing a rendition of The Wizard of Oz. Anyway, gave it to them. They misplaced it. They misplaced it. Whoops. So for decades, there was a rumor that that dress was somewhere in the drama department, somewhere in wardrobe and costuming, but nobody had ever either gone to look for it or really believed that rumor to be true. Somebody stumbled upon it just recently. Just by happen chance. Yeah, it sort of. It just was there. I think they went and kind of looked for it, but I don't think it was any big, you know, mystery or, um, you know, hunt for it. It was sort of like. Well, I looked, and kind of there it was. It so wasn't a, hey, teach, what's this? Yeah, yeah. And so um, they've been doing, like, renovations in that drama department, and that's kind of how they started looking for it. So this is the real deal. That the really real, is hers. It has Judy Garland's name, mm -hmm. um, because they'll do that. It, for movies and plays. They usually and have like the that. name and, like, a number or exactly. something on it, right? Because they typically make more than one of the costume, especially for the main character like that, just in case, and, and for cleaning purposes and, and that kind of thing. So so they know. This is the real deal. It is the real wow. deal. And they could auction that off I and was fund just the school. thinking, fund the drama department, and yeah. then, um, or, you know, let the Smithsonian have it for a while and, you know, put it on display with the ruby slippers. Wow. I think it'd be pretty what awesome. What a story. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Oh, my word. We think it's hot here. Oh, I know. Death Valley was 135 Yeah. the other day. Right. The hottest ever on the planet, period, it on got. On the planet Earth, it's never been that hot before, But it say. was in Death Valley in California, 135 degrees. I don't 
know how you tell the difference between when it hits, say, 110 and 134 degrees. Hot is hot. Right? I mean, but your body's just like, I'm done. That's nothing you want to go ride a bike and uh, and run in. Oh, you don't want to you know? go from. I've gone from the house to the car, and you already have the sweat beads on your, you know, nose mm-hmm. and around the the line of your hair, and it's like I oh, just can't. And that's in the upper nineties, you know, a hundred. I I like summer because I do like hot. I don't like it in the hundreds, but mm-hmm. I do like it hot. I like to be mm-hmm. outside when it's warm. I'll Soak I'll the mow sun. the lawn at four in the afternoon when oh, I get sure. home. Sure. I'll do that at four right. in the afternoon. I don't have to wait until when the sun starts going down. Yeah. But but is that your favorite time of year? I like summer. Well, I, it's a it's a cross between summer and I kind of like winter, too, when it's really cold. So you're of the extremes. Yeah. I'm more the opposite. I, I like um, fall. Fall's nice, <gasps> especially when you get to see the leaves turn color. I love fall. And I love what we can wear in the fall, too. I oh, is the, that why you like fall? Well, I love the crispness that's starting to come into no, the you, know, you the, like the fashion. I like the boots and see, the sweaters. Now that and we the get hats. down to it, she right. likes the fashion. But then on the flip side of that, when you get into spring, then you get to wear the colors see, and the, the yeah. fashion. Yeah. Yeah. She's into the fashion yeah, and thing. the smell of freshly cut grass in the spring. I mean, so those are my two favorite times. Of what year, about freshly cut grass in the summer? Well, I'm no. It's not the same. <laughs> you know what I like, which is weird. The smell of chlorine at the pool. I love that smell, and I don't know why. Because it, I guess it's or it reminds you of something. I'm sure. Probably, probably of something growing from your, up or your childhood. Yeah, or you know the smell, the smell of um, uh, sunblock or tanning oil. I love those. Really. Smells. Oh, yeah, that coconut smell. But this is, you're talking about summer now. This is summer right. smells. Well, that's what I'm saying. There are certain things about summer that I absolutely love, just like winter. I mean, the. She's all have... over the board. She doesn't have a favorite season. No, I said she my likes favorite fast fashion no. season. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Oh, the big turtlenecks in winter. See, I told you. <laughs> she can't even pick one. I'm sure you can, but she can't. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Since it's so hot right now, if summer's not it, what could it be? It's Robin Liz on his radio. What about you, Jess? You're on his radio. My favorite season is fall. What are some of those things that you do in the fall that you just cannot wait for? Apple picking. Who do you do the apple picking with? My dad and my stepmom and my sisters. I love your family gets together to do that. I was in college in the mountains when my sisters were little, so they would come up and see me and we would pick apples. Oh, so you were kind of in charge of planning that whole thing, I would think. My stepmom planned it, but... I was, you know, I was already up there, so then it just became a thing. And it's family. That's the cool thing about it. That is a cool thing about it. Amanda just texted and said, favorite season, hands down, fall. Absolutely. Winter is next, then spring, then summer. And her reasoning behind that is she was born and raised in Florida, and it is just too hot. She had to get away from it, and she likes the cooler weather. But she's actually listening from Central Florida right now because she's visiting her mom. Oh, great. Well, thank you for listening on the app. We so appreciate that, Amanda. Sitting in front of the air conditioning, I would think. Uh, Yeah, right? (laughs) Yeah, really close to the air conditioning vent in Florida. I wonder if it's in the floor. Or if it's in the ceiling, the air conditioning vent. Central, it depends on where you are in Central Florida. I mean, if you're along the coast or along the ocean, the breeze helps. Oh, sure. It it could be in the 90s and not feel incredibly horrible. It's still hot, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel horrible. Yeah, you got just that little bit of breeze. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it's a warm breeze, but it's not that stagnant air that... Now, if you're inland and you're not close to any of the coasts or any kind of body of water, it can be pretty horrific. Or the black top that is at Disney and Universal and all that. Oh, yeah. Which makes it summer for, you know, (laughs) perfect for a summer vacation, right?